Hi, hello, and in this video, we will speak about how you can refactor a project easily. Uh, sometimes when you have to work for a employer, sometimes, you know, you need to do a freelance job. And in the mission, they ask you, uh, in the mission you have been asked to do is to remove something from a project. And sometimes it's a bit hard to know exactly how to do it. You are a bit lost, especially for, uh, for, for the junior developers. It's not always easy when you are still a junior, when you haven't done much or even nothing. How can I, how can I refactor a project? And what can I do? So here, what we'll do together is actually it's a mission. So this mission, I, I share my screen now, so you should see. Uh, the project we did together is to remove a module. So let's say you have been asked to remove a module from here to CMS. So the name of the CMS is PL7 CMS. And what I will do here is exactly this task. So I will actually remove the game module from the project. And this is exactly what we do together now. Uh, the game module you will see is not, it looks easier than it is. It looks like, you know, it looks only you might have to remove just a folder and that's it. But actually, it's not the case because there are some references and the module is not standalone, uh, there are some other code in elsewhere in different folders, in different um, files. So we will see together why actually it's not, you know, you have to be very careful when you do this kind of refactoring. I chose this project to do with you because it's not the easiest one. And, you know, sometimes it sounds like you just have to remove a folder. Oh yeah, it's even the easiest task I have I ever done. But actually, it's not always the case. So let's see. So here, I will start working on that task. Um, and let's do it. Let's do it on uh, screen. I will share it uh, after on that post on screencast. Uh, so let's do it. And I will go on my PHP Storm. Actually, here it's for the version V16.5. So it won't be master v.16.5. It's in a separate release. So I will create a branch especially for that one. Um, actually, what I will do, get check out, I will create a v16, v16.5. Oops, uh, sorry. Uh, what I will do, I will do like this. Mm, yes, let's do this, and I will push this um, this branch release v sixteen v sixteen point five, and um, I have actually a another branch that will also be for that version. So I will just here change the. Uh, the target branch to the new branch I just created, which is that one. This is a bit different. It's not related to what we are going to do, but just to let you know, sometimes you have different um, PRs and you have to make sure that they also they also uh, target the specific release branch. So this is done. And inside of this release branch, I will create my, well, a ticket branch, let's say. So here, uh, what will be my ticket? Um, maybe I will take the ID. So it should be 946, um, GitHub 946, and it will be a remove game module. 
Game module, be default. This is done. And here, let's start. And let's remove the game module. So first, what I want to do is to remove uh, all references. So you see, like, what you can do to start is to search for game, you know, to see, to get familiar with the module. And you see the game references a bit everywhere. You, you feel a bit lost. And indeed, it's not that easy. So first, we'll remove the easiest part. So it will be our uh, game folder. So let's open it. And you can see, I will type game and I will search only for a folder. Let's see, and it has to be obviously in PL7 builder folder. So I don't know what all oh, that's. No, this is from vendor. Third party libraries is not from uh, the actual software. So, how is from Composer actually? No vendor. And here, that's the two folders we have. So, this one. Um, Specific one, the one that is located in the server, um, on the server side, and the other one is actually a bunch of uh, flash files, <laughs> SWF. Yeah, it's a bit outdated indeed. So let's remove those two folders, but we have to be very careful to keep the reference to know where they were located to make sure that we delete everything after that. So I will just remove the two folders first. I can do a git status, and I see that a bunch of files have been deleted. So I will just, uh, I will just add on the stage um, for git. Add on the stage, it means um, you add some files. So in my case, to be protected and data, because here I have a file that has been modified but it's not, oh no, has been added, but it's not part of this work. Actually, that file I should, I should get rid of. I can just, yeah, we leave it there for now because maybe I minded it later on, but yeah, I'm sorry if this sounds a bit confusing, but just ignore that file. So here, what we did, we added in the git stage, um, protected and data folder. So if I do a git status, you can see that all in there. So I will do a first commit and I will reuse that. Why not? And uh, remove game. And I will do part one. Perfect. This has been added. So now, uh, I mean, we, it's in our commit, so those files are going to be deleted. Now we have to see where else is used. I think we have seen that we have some SQL files here. MySQL, PS7 core, and it sounds related with game. Um, let's see, I think it's about a module. In the membership, because before some users could have um, access to that module, but now we just removed it, so we don't need it anymore. However, what I can see is that this is actually, you see, it was encoded in base 64, um, I will have a look here. Uh, you will see, um, I think it was serialized. Uh, no, sorry, it's not base 64. It's nothing about it. I don't know why I said that, but it was serialized. So this is actually some um, serialized um, data because we add it in the, in the database. Um, and I will have a look if it's really the case, you know, just let's imagine I have no idea what's the project about. 
I have to work there. Someone asked me to remove that game feature. I have to do it. So I just have a look with you. Um, and I try to understand. Uh, we try to understand together, actually. I can see, select permissions. Mm -hmm. Missions, you see here, edit membership. I can see the use permissions. So you see, serialize. I can understand. Oh, yes, they actually add permissions. It's in the database. Membership selection. So if I go there, we understand section. It's permissions, probably, yes. And the name of the table is memberships or memberships. I think this is where I was. Permissions, memberships. So they update this column. So what we have to do, if you understand a bit serialize, let's, uh, I will show it to you. Uh, how to crypt. Um, because actually first is the amount, it's an array and it's the amount of value. So I know it sounds a bit quick, a bit hard to understand, but this has to be 22 first because we, we will remove one, uh, one, um, one entry. So it will be 22, 22. So if I look 23, it will be gone, hopefully. Yes, we want have anymore and then I have to search for game and here again it's a string not 12 it's because it's a length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 you see so uh, this is how it works so I have to remove that membership access Normally, I have to remove all of these because after it's the value, it is one. One means uh, it has access. So normally, I will have to remove all of these. So with this, I just remove them. You see. Um, so now I will show you what I did actually, because I know it sounds a bit hard to understand. Like if you have never used uh, some kind of serialized data and unserialized decrypt, um, the problem is, uh, let's see if they explain or not. They don't really explain very well. Um, serialized how? Games. Um, let's see. Binary, or maybe if I just type serialize, maybe it will be even better. Sometimes when you search less, it's just the right one. Let's see on Wikipedia, maybe they explain for you because I'm not sure if I will be able to understand very well. I mean, I, I told you a little bit how it works, but um, no, they don't uh, mention a serialize. Mm -hmm. Serialization, do they explain or not? Um, hmm. uh, not a lot of information. Uh, No, let's see if I have another. Oh, it's maybe in computer. Can be stored, yes. Um, yes. Uh, but okay, apparently, there are not a lot of tutorial that explains 
bit by bit so we do my best let's see here um no it's not about civilization um no oh maybe it's here wait let's see a input output c civilization uh that one looks already better Let's see that one. That one is not useful. This one. Realization. It's mostly about class, but they don't say about the data. Um, so here I think that might be actually no. It's not that helpful. Um, okay, so we do my best. Um, so basically, what we do when we serialize something, um, when we were here in this file, this is permission. So we get a permission. This is an array, and we serialize the array. We get an array, but permission, what is actually permission? I will check if I have, uh, if it's used somewhere else so. Um, we have something else. No, we don't have many, many other information. So we have a, we have 22 elements in our array. So A, 22, then S is for string. Uh, quick search profiles is just the length of the, um, of the, of the key that we have access. Actually, we can do, you know, after we will use like this. It will be like an object, uh, an object. So, uh, we are, you see, we use the, the object like that. And here, the value is a string one and, and that's it actually, S1. Because when we do this, we just, you see, here, permission actually file has all values. So that's the key and that's actually the element, um, the value one, one, one. And serialize, when we serialize it, it will change to a string, the value. So one, you know, all the values will be a string. So this is how it works. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe you can see better information on the internet, but so far for now, we couldn't. Uh, as you can see, there are not a lot. So let's continue here. Broad data category, that game is a category, it's not related to the module, so that's fine. Uh, category, no. Here, comment game, we have to delete this. It means game is also included in the comment, comments module, probably. We have to look after. So um, we will remove this. Game, let's continue here. System module enabled. We have to remove the game module. Perfect. That's a category. I think it's done for the um, P7 core SQL. What I can see is only for MySQL. So if I go to Postgres, oh, oh, we have the same maybe. So again, we might have to do the same. Postgres is anyway serialized data, so it won't change um, for Postgres. We will just need to do exactly the same as what we did. So um, game access, I will just have to remove this normally and after we can check if it's the same by just copy paste now what is left here to see if we have the same we do um, and remember what we did before we have to update this as well one two three four five six yes and i will replace to 22 because we have just 22 elements left and now, if I do 22, we have six here, and it should be the same in the uh, MySQL file. Yes, I do. So that's fine. And we continue the same, that's a category. Here, comment. Uh, yes, you can see in, in, in Postgres, it's a little bit different. So we remove this one game. So we have to remove this. Um, yes, so that should be it. 
then here that's that's actually you know for the system module enabled i have to remove that perfect and that's it so this is done now i know that in the comment module this also maybe some reference about the game so i we try to see comment module you see that you have the module here and the directory is actually system modules comment so let's have a look let's search if you have game oh i can see game you see and indeed the new table so i have to remove this for sure uh, perfect so so game 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 no um that's interesting. So we see there are no other class game elsewhere. Oh, system, yeah. That's the one I was. Comment, comment, comment. Let's make it bigger. Um, class, module. Oh, you see system core. It's not only in the comment uh, folder, but it's also here in the core folder. So now I have to say, oh, this came as well here. So we remove that. Um, yes, that's fine. I will see if in mod models comment, let's see if they have game. No, no game here. So let's continue. Uh, so we have to be very careful actually. Comment core test. Table name provider, oh, I have to remove that in the test because we, also, we also need to update tests. And here it actually did test about um, the name of the providers, I mean the, the table names, what kind of table names we accepted. And because here um, I just removed game to be uh, in this those table name exist to make sure that if the table name exists or not if we allow that table name for comments and because i removed game because we removed the um the game comment table in our database i mean in the um multiple and and postgres file so i have to make sure that here it has been removed but the test also has to be updated so that's why i have to remove game as well here what else engine various game i probably need to remove this as well and here as well because we probably don't need this anymore uh, and let's see check so db various so let's have a look here game you see here we don't need this anymore let's remove here you see so actually there are a lot of places where we were using game uh, for the table and it's not that easy db you see db table name here as well comment that's uh, the, the table we removed in the um sql files so um, comments game so i have to get rid of that one and that one as well actually uh, these two so if you remember i will just show you again just in case if you remember in our uh, core sql we removed um, this table ph7 comment came and this is why we have to remove also the references in the code and that's actually game that was the the game table we might have to remove as well let's see after where it's located uh, game table um let's continue data core model data core model huh get comment Game. So that one definitely has to be removed. Wow, a lot. And that one as well. Get game. Hmm. Let's see where it's used. It's used here. Wow, there are so many. And that's for the generate XML root. See, it's you see, it's not easy to, to 
to remove everything. So I have to remove that one. That one as well, I will have to remove. Oh, it's this one, actually. So I will have to remove that one. I will just copy that one because I will have to search to make sure that it has been removed. Um, after in the template, also we might have to make sure that everything is clean. Game that is fine. Um, so here, yes, that one was removed. We also need to remove the other one, this one. Perfect. And uh, what else? You see here, get comment game, we have to remove that one as well. And comment core model, oh yeah, we removed, I think. Game, ah yeah, that was in check table and that one was removed. So let's continue, let's remove this one. Uh, let's, yeah, it's definitely not easy as you can see. Um, sometimes the project looks really easy to do. So you say, oh yeah, in, in an hour it will be done, in five minutes it will be done. And actually, no, 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 <laughs> it's not the case. Uh, and that happens quite often. Here there's an installer and apparently you see the game module was also mentioned. Social modes and to disable or to enable. Apparently it was disabled by default because it, it's zero. And that one we have to remove it as well. Then here came, oh, that's a probably the MySQL files for the game count. Yeah, I will have to remove this one, PH7 schema and data game. Hmm. But then we have just one left. So PH7 schema, data game, interesting. So why do I still need an array here? Let's see that after, but probably we don't need this. So we just, we don't just need to remove, you know, like simply and leave the code bad, but we also have to refer to our code. But first let's remove the data game because we don't need this anymore. So let's remove data game. And I can do, uh, well, delete because we are deleting that one. I think there were two files, one for Postgres and one for MySQL, yes. There's still one left, so I will remove that one as well. Oops. Hmm, I thought it was removed. Delete, perfecto. So that one normally, yeah, it's removed. And we still have to schema game. So let's remove that one too. Um, perfect. And the other one, uh, for the schema game, it's the Postgres one left. So let's remove that one as well. Delete. Uh, sometimes it doesn't want to be deleted. Okay. That's done. So here, what we will refactor. So we don't need these two because they are deleted now because we don't want to install the game, um, data in, in the database when we install the CMS. And PS7 core, well, we don't need this loop. Um, as far as I can see, we don't need it. Mm -hmm. So, um, hmm. how can we do it? Maybe we can just to this, um, yes. Um, and maybe I will store it somewhere, perhaps. So it will be self, um, SQL. File probably, let's see. And so we'll add this constant here. 
um, probably here const um, SPA. I'll call SPA file maybe like this. And that's the name of the file. Perfect. And now let's see. Yes. Um, that sounds fine. I just need to remove the semicolon. So we have this constant now. We go here and we can remove this loop uh, and the dumps um, away. So the loop, we will just do this. We remove that, remove this, and we just make it right for the indentation. The indentation, I will just make this a bit smaller. So uh, this should be it. Core SPL file. Yeah, no, we don't need a comment. Um, so this is already a big, uh, something big is already done. It's already been done because um, it's about the installer. Comment game, again, here we are in, in a sitemap, so we can notice that in the XML module about the sitemap, uh, game was, is quite, um, uh, there are quite a lot of references of the game module. So, make if it is somewhere else, so maybe that uh, function doesn't need to be used. Or yeah, no, because it's part of the of the um, template engine, so that's fine. So we will remove this comment game again. Um, what else here as well? You see, game action. Um, oh. Oh yeah, so game was about different uh, action just dynamic. So we might see it after when we go to that command, uh, to that function, where it's called action. Um, yes, no, we don't see for the moment. So game, uh, what else was used? That's a category as we have seen. Here, comment modes. It's really much involved in the comments uh, module and the XML module. So here we don't need uh, we don't need game anymore. Here as well we update the game table for the stats apparently as you can see and we don't need that. That was in the database called Chrome. So we don't need to clear the stats for the game uh, table anymore because we just removed it. Um, what else? Cache group. Game core model. Oh, there's a file as well outside of the game folder in the core model. So let's remove that one. Uh, and maybe this one also in the this game core game core. No, elsewhere because sometimes there's a model game core and a game core which is not part of the module. Um, yeah. Anyway. So again, no. Uh, so let's continue our research. Uh, we have done already a lot. So after it will be the TMP file, so the template file, but let's focus on the PHP file first. Usually when we do something, when, especially when we refactor, it's easy to, um, you know, to be lost because we want to do so many things at the same time, but it's, it's really important to focus just in one part and then we do the other part. Otherwise, we might miss some some other things, some other important things. So, um, yeah, that one is used in quite a few files. Game uh, here. Let's search for that method. Wow. Uh, game, game, game. That's also the game command, so we can remove that. Oh yes, but I think it's part of the... It's part, well, that, font, that method is really huge. Add stats for the stats. 
Um, and then uh, that's part of its module. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we have done this. That's removed. Yeah, nice. The default. So some something else no. Um we have to remove after in the TMP file, but now we said that we we'll focus on the uh, PHP file first. Setting form. Oh, I think that's when we enable or disable the module, yes. So we have to remove this one. Um game comment user go model uh, that one as well game comment yes when we remove the comments uh, latest game comment that one we don't need that one anymore uh, so we can remove this one uh, what else I this controller that's still in the XML uh, module. We can remove that one too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So no game there anymore, no. Uh, what else? Permission, oh yeah, that's when we serialize the permission. So that one we can uh, remove because it's not part of the permissions anymore because we removed the game module. Um, that's some cache files. We shouldn't be there, but it's sure enough still, but shouldn't be displayed. When we configure quite well or it's in project, I know it's still there in module, yeah, anyways. Um, so again, let's upgrade files. We don't have to touch on these because it's like for some previous versions when we upgrade uh, the CMS. So, um, what else? Google controller class here is game enabled. We have to remove this. Uh, let's search for this. It's coming about. Okay. So now I think we are ready to do the um, the TPL file. I mean, the, the template files. But let's double check if we didn't miss anything. Nice. I will also have a look in the XML module after when we are going to commit everything. So, can conclusion, um, so it was a protected system, oops, uh, app, sorry, system modules XML. So let's have a look at the P flag. Uh, game, yes. Here we removed this, it was at the end, so yes, good. Here we removed it, here as well, that's good. Uh, that's it, so I will already commit that. Module. Perfect. Um, now we can check for the. It was just a double check. A check for the game. Oh, I will do uh, for the XML module. I will do the same actually for the uh, comments because that for quite a lot of references of game as well. So let's have a look. This one looks good. Oh, just one in that comment module. Hmm. I think it was in different comment file then. And I will do the same commit, but for comments. So, um, yes. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, just have a look here in comment core file. 
game no and comment pro model game no that's fine so now let's do, let's re, let's close all the open files and um, let's start the uh, TPL file. So here we just search for TPL files. Um, game, that's just a keyword. Um, uh, it's the first menu, so I say it's a video games. Oh, yeah. Can we move this? Um, this question actually, I will change to question board. Discussion board, yes. Um, game discussion board actually sounds a bit more modern than uh, than the forum. So game forum is like you know in uh, early two thousand, it was okay, but not nowadays. <laughs> so is game enabled? Uh, yes. So that's I have to remove it because it has been deleted. Um, game. So this one again, this has been deleted. Um, game. So yeah, we did exactly the same. We just need to double check to make sure that what we do is correct. Here, game sitemap, well, game is removed. So game sitemap won't be used anymore. Uh, so normally, that file won't be caught anymore because we removed the game reference, but we have to double check after. Um, mm. Game is enabled. Um, that one I can remove. What else? Let's continue. This one can be removed as well. Uh, let's continue. This can enable this one also. Doesn't need to be there. And this one as well. That's for the admin. That's in the menu actually. Uh, because we have this moderation link as well. So this is what's the moderation link, admin. And that one was just for the users to play games. So yes, we have to remove them. Um, what else? Here. Sitemap, that one game has to be removed. Uh, game comment, yes, we don't need it anymore. So we can remove as part of the admin view. Uh, oh, that's it. So because before there was still a lot, but it was a reference for the stat, stat file. So as soon as I remove this, it's all gone. Um, I will see if there is no game file. Game, apparently not. Uh, as you have seen, we just removed actually one, um, one file in the XML uh, module. So if you see here, so that this one we removed, that one as well, but uh, that one as well. That one as well, that one. However, we also removed this, um, we removed this one, this file. And we have, we want to make sure that this, the game.sitemap.xml won't be used anymore, don't, won't be caught, well, because otherwise we'll have an error. So let's have a look how it's called. So, um, XML, how it's imported. PWA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's actually used here. XML.tpl. And that file. It's actually set content type. It's actually from here. 
but probably it's used in a parent class because it's protected. And yes, indeed, it is. So eyes. So that's fine. And then the other one, sitemap. It was used in sitemap because it it was ending by sitemap. Sitemap. You see sitemap. Um, sorry, it's here. Uh, game dot sitemap dot xml dot tpl. So how it was used? Let's have a look. We still need to check. Hmm. Um, it's actually here, the action. That's just a prefix. Oh, the, the suffix, sorry, the suffix of the file. So action, quoted as well, as. So it was used here. So I think that's fine. But we can actually, you know, we don't have game. So it was actually, we can actually remove that space. So yeah, because we removed it, so it should be fine. So let's see also in the um, in the sitemap file. So game no and the action are not used anymore. Yeah, so that's fine. Let's do a uh, double check, you know, sanity check to make sure that um, everything has been deleted. Actually, not. Um, in some different files, you see XML file. For the root, we still have the game reference. So we can admin exactly how it rewrites uh, the, the, the root of the files. I mean, you know, because uh, with P7 CMS, you can uh, give some instructions to uh, change the URL. So you change the root with different paths. So that the URL will be different depending on the, of the, of the module, of the action, of the uh, controller, and so on. So we can remove game because that module is now will be now deleted. So it's you know it's not it doesn't work to have some some codes that are not used. We actually have a name for that, a anti pattern, and the name is a uh, dead anchor. I think it's yeah dead anchor. I think so. Um, I will have a look. Yes, that's right. Actually, anti pattern. You see. Both anchor, code, file, content. We leave, keep just to, uh, for, you know, for record or history reason, but are actually dead code. So, you know, everything has, yeah. And especially now with Git is, you know, you have the history. So it doesn't make any sense to uh, leave code, uh, just, just in case. No, just delete what we don't need. Uh, we only need to, to keep in our code base what we just need. This is a good practice. So game is out from there. Um, let's see the different files to make sure everything has been removed. I think we did already a really good job. So I already congrats you, uh, but it's not over. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we might have. Leave game. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, why is in Travis? Oh, here in the dot Travis file, we don't need this game game. Uh, it's for the database actually, but because we don't use the, uh, this two SQL file, so we can just remove them. Uh, perfect. Uh, what else do we need uh, to remove? Or here in the feature, in the readme feature, that one can be removed. Yes. Uh, what else? In the language global um, dot po, the um, get text file, we can remove this. After we we'll have to sync it anyway. But let's do a quick cleanup to here because we are on a mission and we want to do our job very well and proper so we, we don't want to leave anything. Uh, sometimes you might have error or you might add a lot of new keys when you sync the get text file. So for now it's better to do it manually because otherwise you might add other keys and maybe the owner of the CMS doesn't want it. He didn't ask you to update 
the global uh, get text file. So just do what you just have to uh, to do, and nothing else. Uh, wow, 188. So we must not that 188 um, uh, game keyword found. So we might just remove now everything part of the module, and that's it. Game, 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 game. Mm. Game, game, okay, until here apparently. So let's remove everything here because here it's only part of the game module. So we know that this is safe to be removed. Um, yes, until here. Perfect. You see? And that was only part of the game module, such game anyway. So perfect. Um, let's do a quick check here. Such game. Yes, yeah, so that's just a cache file, so it's fine. So now let's continue. Uh, we have a lot of new files. Let's add everything in our um, protected test and template uh, test actually because I have this file that I shouldn't have but I don't want to commit to that one so I will just do you need app system yes I'm sure it's not going to be there um, and let's do git status and um, let's already commit this um, From test, test, um, which is and yes, as a framework. Okay, that's just mostly the core files here. Let's update um, Travis. Remove came. Actually, we can reuse the same um, the same commit for everything now. Remove and uh, game. So let's continue for the other ones. Uh, so as you can see, we have the readme. Uh, we have and everything the installer and here as well that one. Oops, uh, I didn't add a space. Otherwise, uh, the path won't be found. So we add readme in everything that needs to be committed, uh, that needs to, uh, that has been changed, everything in the install folder, and everything that has been changed in the test unit framework folder. So let's add it. Let's do git status. Yes, and now we, because we added a commit that fits for us, remove game modules. We can just do git commit and amend our last commit. And so now if you search, yeah, has been done, beautiful. So now we do a last check. Game, okay, yes. Uh, and for every file as well, yes. So it looks good. So we can just push the commit. Uh, yeah, the, our branch and the, co and, and the commits we added. So now we can push the code. Uh, let's see why it doesn't. Sometimes I think I had internet issue. Let's see now how it goes. Perfect. So now the branch is just merged. Let's open it. So when you click here, or you can do comment on Mac, comment click. Um, so that branch is my branch. I will just create and uh, remove the game module from the code base. Perfect. Uh, I create the PR for it. And actually here, like what we did before, we will uh, tag, we will 
um, target the release branch we spoke about before. I will just check the files. It's right, we have a lot of files, but you know, it would be nice to have a look to see if everything looks okay. Especially when you are the only one who is approving your code. Oh yeah, that one we just delete. That one is everything part of the game. Uh, yeah. uh, I will also search to make sure if we had some game core. Wait, if I game core mode, that one has been uh, deleted. Probably. Um, and that's part of the game, game, game. So game core model. So let's have just a look for that one. We just need to make sure that that one is removed. But I think it, it has been removed. If we search for this one, yes, it's not there anymore. So when we have a look to the commit, we, we would probably see that one has been removed. So yes, everything looks good. And when you are happy, uh, you know, the person of the project will just approve your uh, PR or can even have, uh, you know, some reflection about it or oh, this doesn't look good, this looks good or actually I have this for the quality of the code at the part it says expect 28 but font oh yeah, the line is, the length is too long um, apparently uh, and, oh no, I think I know from what is the issue. We can fix that issue. Oh wow, and I have another one. Uh, let's try to fix some PSR, some um, indentation issue. So you see here, actually, I would probably do like this to be um, better to change because otherwise the argument of the function, uh, there's a space in it and that's not really good so let's do like that and then like this so to be a bit cleaner uh, and the same here um, oh that was the same actually uh, 361 yes and this one Again, you see that one, I think is the main of the argument. So what we can do, we'll make it a little bit cleaner. And usually the operator here, in our case is and, it's better to, you know, to break the line after the operator. It's just a convention. So instead of having the and operator here at the beginning, we do at the end. Um, and here, session, so I just add this. It's nice anyway for the conventions, it's always nice to be consistent. So it's not really what you have to follow, but for the same project, it has to be consistent. So, um, oh yeah, PHP Storm does this actually by default, which is a bit annoying. Uh, so I shouldn't save otherwise because I had a macro. So when I save, it will do the reformat uh, code. What well, is uh, code reformat? Reformat code, and it changes then the indentation. And apparently, doesn't follow PSA. Um, so that one, wow, a lot of them. So this is the same here. Here with the password. Here, that's a bit different. Still about the install controller. So let's have a look what's wrong with that. Um, oh, escape, you see. That's the issue that has been changed, actually. Um, oh, we were here. So here, that's not really uh, correct. We we'll just change because actually when we save the file, it changed all the indentation. So it's nice to fix it. Um, save three ninety three. 
Hmm. Yes, so that one has been screen ninety three. Well, actually, it's, no, it's the same file. So result conversation, uh, result conversation. Here we fixed it as well, and we just commit everything after. That one, yes, that was the same. That was the same, so I can resolve it. And this one, yeah, this one I will fix it. Just to double check if I don't have it again somewhere else. Uh, that one looks good. That one too. Perfect. So let's let's commit it. Um, you see, this looks a bit. Yeah, it depends. Again, it's like taste, you know. Yeah, it's a bit, it's it depends what you like, what you are used to, especially what you are used to. Convention, you know, convention is really. It's even like handwriting. Sometimes you like your handwriting, your handwriting, and sometimes you don't. You like the cursive or not? Um, fixed intention. Okay, okay. So I will just push it again, and um, yeah, I will see if there is something else. That has been changed in the install controller because, as you can see, there are, there are actually there are a lot of changes. About this, when I save to the file, uh, if I do comment S, it will change the indentation. But however, when it saves automatically, it doesn't. So I, I shouldn't save it on um, explicitly save it the file because if I do comment S, it will trigger the macro. But if I don't save it, actually PSP Storm is configured in a way that it will still save it, um, but it won't uh, trigger the macro that will change, that will reformat uh, the, the code. So here as well, I think print, that one has been changed too, apparently. Um, I mean, that's so, that one is okay, actually. Um, yeah, again, you see, it truly really depends on what you are used to, what you like. Uh, do you prefer like this or do you prefer like before? Some would say, oh no, actually, I prefer to have the argument here and then the session. It's, yeah, depends on what you are used to, depends on yeah, the test. Um, so let's refresh it because I post anyway the, um, the commit. So you see now it's already has been changed. Um, attribute require so this one is a bit different to now. The version compare. Um, mm -hmm. You see, before it was exactly like this. Now it's a bit different. It's really up to you, actually. It's like, yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah, let's leave let's leave it as it is. Everything has been committed. Yes. So um, well done. You have done it. And once everybody is happy. Uh, once you have a thumbs up, or now actually nowadays, you um, people you know the other devs don't really do thumbs up, but they just uh, they will approve it with a feature of Bitbucket, uh, GitLab, or here uh, GitHub. They will approve it in my case because I'm admin. I can't approve it. I mean, it's, it's because I'm the own uh, I'm the owner of the of the PR. But I will merge it to the release branch. And um, this is done, so it has been merged inside of that branch. So if we go to um, to the project and we go to uh, the release branch, you should see it. And this is actually 
again, you see, this is if we go to the last commit, uh, you see that's about the game. So it has been done. What you can even do is to post this uh, the PR in the issue. Um, and yes, you can say it has been done here and you just post it. And now you can close uh, the, um, the issue you just created. So yes, that's it for uh, how you, um, you refer to actually a code base. As you have seen, there are a lot of things to consider. To consider, it's not always easy, but it's always challenging, and this is actually the most important part. When it's challenging, you like it because, you know, it's not that easy. If it was too easy anyway, it would be a bit boring. I hope you enjoyed it, and let's see uh, in another video. See ya.